Hey guys, Angelina Jolie is in Colombia. Angelina Jolie has been to my town, my hometown, last weekend. But the question is, what is she doing there? Rio Hacha, La Guajera, my city, my hometown, which is not touristic at all. What is she doing there? That's the question. So stay tuned. Yeah, certainly Angelina Jolie is in my town, my hometown. So my hometown name is Rio Acha, belongs to the county La Guajira and is on the top, top North Caribbean, in front of the Caribbean Sea of Colombia. But the question is, why is she going to this city? The city isn't that, that, that touristic. It's not a touristy place to visit that much. But well, there's so many things that you could do and you could see in the town and in that region. Firstly, you have an indigenous culture, indigenous tribe, indigenous people living there that actually is the biggest indigenous culture tribe uh, in Colombia. So, well, why not? And also you have very beautiful pictures and sea. The sea is great. But the question is, why, why is she going to that place, that small town, and not to other more remarkable places for tourism in Colombia, such as Cartagena or San Andres Islands, to some extent? But yeah, this is the big question, and Colombian people didn't know that she was coming. At the same time, Colombian people didn't expect that she would go to that city, Rio Acha, to that place. But why is that interesting going there? Well, as I told you, there's not much to do and to see there, more than what I'm showing you right now. But let me tell you, there's another big reason why she is coming to my hometown. Well, people don't know, but what you might not know is that Rio Acha is the closest capital city close to the border with Venezuela. So as Venezuela is leaving a very deep crisis, more than 10 years already, there's so many humanitarian help and support from USA and from the United Nations organization. So that's the main reason why she is in, in the city. The people who have had to go through displacement, um, I think, and, so, and go through it, like all of these young children and all of you, strongest people in the world. And um, has been so beautiful because it's showing a woman very philanthropic and very engaged with society, helping other deprived communities. As Rio Acha is close to the border, there's so much population from Venezuela who has been living in a very, very bad situations, even in my city. So Colombia, as you know, is a developing country. There's not much money, it's not a wealth country. Colombia is not a wealth country. So we need to survive with what we have, but at the same time, we have to help our brothers from Venezuela. So that's a good thing of the ONU or ACNUR, they came to help. You have taken so many of these extreme things in your life and, and, and you have, you have, you're so elegant and you're so thoughtful and you, you, have, you have so much uh, strength. Well, with this visit, the town will become very trendy and touristy, even more, a little bit more. So this is the outcome. I usually don't talk about this, these things, but yeah, I think it was a, a good idea to give you a, a little bit of facts happening in Colombia right now, and which is very trendy, and we very value the help from other uh, people. People have a very beautiful heart. So I stay tuned with more videos uh, like this one and many others talking about my experiences and things about digital, which I really like and enjoy. Okay, see you next time. I know that there are almost 4 million people now from Venezuela who have had to leave the country and the 
country and the situation inside is so so serious. La pobreza, la gente se muere de hambre por falta de medicamentos y entonces hay que salir y luchar y empezar de nuevo desde cero. The people who have had to go through displacement, um, I think, and, to, and go through it like all of these young children and all of you, strongest people in the world to anything. And I know, and I also know that all of you are so capable and so talented and such amazing families.